Hey mi gente, it's Julie and Steve. You guys already know my name, but if you are new here, hey! Today we are going to be talking about West Side Story Remake and its diversity problems. And I'm going to share a mini story time towards the end of this video. We're going to start now. Before I go any further in this video, I would like to discuss the mini history behind West Side Story Remake. The remake of West Side Story is adapted by the original screenplay of the 1961 West Side Story and the Broadway edition of West Side Story from 1957. Directed by Steven Steinberg, best known for his works on Jaws, The Color Purple, and The Post, to name a few of his directing works. To make adjustments to the original West Side Story script, he hired screenwriter Tony Kushner. West Side Story has a more diverse casting by ethnicity not by race. Before I go into any details about West Side Story Remake, I would like to let you all know that in the 1950s through 1960s, the Puerto Rican population grew. Due to this, there was a mixture of white, black, and Puerto Ricans in Lincoln Square, aka San Juan Hill. San Juan Hill occupied 18 city streets, from 59th to 65th Street. The Lincoln Square Renewal Project would clear six of these. Up to 5,000 tenants could fill one block of tenements, meaning the clearance of six blocks displaced upwards of 30,000 people. These people were African American, Irish, Greek, and Puerto Ricans. Now, everyone knows that being a Puerto Rican is an ethnicity, not a race, right? Right? There are different types of Puerto Ricans. There are white Puerto Ricans. There are black Puerto Ricans. There are indigenous Puerto Ricans. There are Asian Puerto Ricans. There are mestizo, mestizia Puerto Ricans, and so on. Compared to the original movie, the remake has a diverse casting, once again by ethnicity. Here are some examples of their diverse characters. Rachel Ann Zegar is Colombian and Polish descent. Ariana De Bois is Afro-Puerto Rican and Italian descent. David Alvarez is Cuban-Canadian. Rita Moreno is Puerto Rican. Jamila Vasquez is Puerto Rican and Dominican descent. Due to timing, I am not going to name the other diverse examples of casting in this movie. Oye, Javi! Ponle fuego, vamos! Before we go any further on in this video, I do want to discuss on the disapproval of some Puerto Ricans on this film. Some Puerto Ricans on social media, specifically on YouTube because I've seen the comments before, they were in disapproval of the film's history because if you do not know, the Broadway version of West High Story and the film production of West High Story in 1961, it was not diverse and the only actual Puerto Rican representation was Rita Moreno in West Side Story and also the way they depicted Puerto Ricans in the Broadway production it was stereotypical and Puerto Ricans they weren't a fan of it from during that time and as of now to this day they didn't want Steven Spinberg to proceed with doing this production of West Side Story remake a few people they were still criticizing because of the fact that Rachel 
is not a poor weekend and you know she's portraying a poor weekend now i'm going to say my opinion you do not need to agree with me just so everyone knows but we have to be real compared to the original movie and the broadway version of west high story when it comes to hispanic and or latino representation in this movie they do a decent job when it comes to the representation this version they are hispanics portraying hispanic characters as diverse the remake is compared to the original movie this movie falls flat when it comes to afro latino representation sure ariada the boys is portraying afro latina in this movie but one she's only one afro latina character and it's ridiculous that hollywood thinks by having one afro latina character it's representing all afro latinos and then historically there were afro latinos during that time in the 1950s and 1960s and even before that in New York City. We also have to mention that Ariana De Bois is a mixed race Afro Latina. So that also plays a factor on how she got casted, why she got casted, maybe. And I'm not going to discredit her because she's a talented woman, but we have to be realistic. If Ariana De Bois was not mixed race, was specifically a mixed race Afro Latina. Chances are she wasn't going to be casted. Hollywood does not see me as a representation of Afro Latinos because since I have two full black parents who are from Latin America, and on top of that, I am brown to darker skin, people, specifically in Hollywood, maybe even audience members who are Latino and or Hispanic and they are anti black they wouldn't want to see me in the movie like West High Story representing, even though, once again, being a Latino is an ethnicity, not a race. But people get that so mixed up. Why is she the only Afro Latina character in the movie? Even the background actors, too. I've noticed that the Puerto Rican characters that are being portrayed in the background. They are not black Puerto Ricans. Majority of them are either white, indigenous, and or mestizo, mestiza Puerto Ricans, or Latinos, or and or Hispanics who happen to be non black. Interesting. Mini story time. Yes, I got a mini story time on how I tried to be a background actor for West Side Story Remake. But before we start, I just want to make it clear that originally the story was titled Storytime. Why I would not watch West Side Story Reboot. And by the way, I wrote this script a while back because I was like, you know, maybe I should share my story one day. Now to the story time. On May 19, 2019, I wanted to get some form of acting experience, whether paid or not. So I researched on numerous acting agencies who give free help for background actors in New York City. The agency's name is Grant With Me Casting Inc. In the description on their site, they asked for Hispanic people and Caucasian people who fit the 1950s and 60s look. I was like, oh shit, I should try to get this gig. I contacted them through email with all of the additional information that they wanted. A day after, May 20th, 2019, a man who works there contacts me. The person who contacted me through email was nice. We are going to call him Bill. Mm -hmm. 
Bill's not his real name, by the way. We're just going to call him that for the story. And because, you know, privacy purposes. After that, a month passes. June 25th or the 26th, I get an email stating there's an opportunity for me to get a background position on the Duce show. I was happy for this opportunity, but I knew something was weird. Number one, I never applied for this background work. Number two, it's been a month with no response on website story. Three, why on your site it still says we are looking for more extras for website story? Oh, I know why. Oh, wait, you guys already know why too. I hope you do. But if you don't, I'm going to say it anyways. It's because I'm black. And when I say I'm black, Specifically, I'm a black Latino, black Hispanic, black Afro Latino, specifically a brown to darker skin Afro Latino. That's why they didn't want someone who looks like me to represent Hispanics in this film. So, for you to not put me to do background work is ridiculous, and that's the funny thing, too, because. It's not like I was going to be a major portrayal. And even if I was, that shows that you have a bias towards people who look a certain way. A.K.A. who do not look mixed race like Ariana DeBoyce. And who doesn't look Hispanic and or Latino. Being a Latino and or Hispanic, it's an ethnicity. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous, and we all know it's because of that. It's because I'm a brown to dark skin Afro Latino with two black parents from Latin America. For what I'm assuming, because before anyone says, "Oh, why are you saying that? Is that true?" What I'm saying is, for what it looks like, they didn't cast me because I'm I phenotypically look as an african-american even though technically i am african-american because i was born here but my parents are both black people from honduras i'm still a latino and or hispanic because my parents are from latin america my grandparents are from latin america too my great grandparents are from latin america we just happen to be black. I think people don't know that there are people who are fully black from Latin America. <sighs> and if you guys didn't notice, when they casted me for the Duce show, it's crazy how they picked me because I look African American, like I said. They casted me automatically for the Duce show and contacted me with no hesitation. Concluding statements and the outro of this video. I hope we as a society, we change things, especially us, the younger generation. Of course, the older generation, they have to participate in it. But we as the younger generation, we have to correct bad practices. And I do know sometimes people that are in the table cannot do certain things. I do understand there's certain boundaries you can or cannot push, especially as a casting call agent. When you in a power dynamic and you in a certain ranking, you have to follow the rules. I would educate my staff and explain to them why we need to be casting brown to dark skin Afro Latinos who happen to have two full black parents from Latin America because we cannot be allowing this cycle that only mixed race Afro Latinos could represent Afro Latinos. This is a problem. We cannot be allowing only a specific type of Latino and or Hispanic to be representing Latinos. We need to see representation of all Latinos, not just the stereotypical and or accepted version of being a Hispanic and or Latino. And sure, I have not seen West Side Story Remake, so I cannot give a full 
valid critique that for what I've seen from the previews in the movie and for what I've seen from complaints about the movie, I already know I am correct. There is a lack of diversity when it comes to Afro-Latino representation. I want to see brown to dark skin Afro-Latinos like me to be represented in the, me the media in general, in movies, TV shows, the news. Come on, come on Hollywood, come on everyone. We have to support this movement. We have to see proper representation of all Afro-Latinos and all Latinos in general. Am I going to see this movie? I'm not sure, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Thank you if you made this far in this video. I appreciate you. Tell me what do you think about anything that I've mentioned in this video, any questions, any thoughts, etc, etc. You guys know how this goes. Be sure to like this video, especially if you agree with what I'm saying or anything I said in this video. If you want to help me to send this message to more people, please feel free to share my story with anyone that you know. We are the power, us new generation people. We could make a change. Thank you and 